Punk Attitude, Real Stories. What are two bands that you like from this documentary? One band that I like from the documentary is the Stooges. Because one guy literally did a performance, topless, and the punk and punk rock was in its early stage. So this wild behavior was very new to everyone. The second band that I liked was the New York Dolls. They were the seats for punk rock. What are five things you like about punk rock? Number one, punk rock is very wild and violent. It's the only one of areas of music where it is acceptable. Punk rock is also based on anger. A lot of it is just pure shouting. Number three, punk rock also allows the singer to say what he wants, or it is cursing or just being chill. Number four, your clothes can be anything you want, from being topless to wearing a weird wig and skin jeans. Number five, the idea of going against society and what they expect from you. What was the punk attitude real stories about? It is about the history of punk rock. It talks about how it started 1960s and evolved through time, while recognizing the people that evolved the punk genre. It also talks about what it is and what is it like for other people. What are three things you learned from the punk documentary? Number one, a lot of people when punk rock started believed it was toxic behavior and really it is just a music genre that is misunderstood. Number two, you could do anything on stage, you can even boo the audience. Number three, punk rock is pure anger. There's a lot of shouting and saying that you're mad at something big or small, it doesn't matter. What made you shocked and surprised in the documentary? That punk rock is all psychological, it's based on rebellious behavior, going against the crowd.